You know, I met Gail right here at Sherm's. Mm -hmm. She was slender, blonde hair, big brass, long legs. Ugh, not my type at all. And what was it exactly that led to you two hitting it off? Was she ill? Or did your father witness her father committing a crime? Or was she tempted? You know what, all blind. that matters is you got married and you're happy. So as all time best man, I suggest we raise a cone to Jerry Gergich. Jerry Gergich! Thank you. Gergich. Oh, jeez. No worries, Gary. Oh, thanks, Sean. <laughs> mm. How did you have that ready so fast? I always make a backup cone. He drops it about half the time. Annie, you're next. Any activity in the world, what would you do? Well, mine's impossible. <laughs> uh, I want to see a Colts game. I want to see the Colts beat the Patriots 49 0. Then I yell at Tom Brady and make him cry. Then I hook up with Dave Matthews and we play Golden Tee for 10 hours. I did a baby. That's a very specific dream, son. Hey, Jim, Chris Traeger, I need a favor. I'm dead. I am dead. And this is what heaven is like. I knew it. Oh, this is where they play the games. You're up, Andy. Hey, guys! Guys, come on over here. Andy, I want you to meet Indianapolis Colts owner Jim Irsay. Andy, good to meet you, my friend. Thank you. I love your team, sir. I love them like they're my own children. You're big enough to play football yourself, it looks like to me. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking, but I hope you're not. This whole place is yours. Jim Irsay and I became friends while volunteering to mentor Indianapolis teens. I gave them tours of the State House. Jim gave them Colts tickets and autographed jerseys. They prefer Jim. Reggie Wayne. I can't look at you, Reggie Wayne. Oh, I got married in your jersey. That's no joke. That's weird. But I respect that. I'm a big fan, Mr. Luck. OK, guy, settle down. OK. Uh, Mr. Andrew Luck, it's every groom's dream to catch a touchdown pass thrown by you. Could you do me the honor? Yeah, let's do it. Keep the spiral tight? I'll try. OK. you to rub it in. Woo! Really? We went to an insane bar, played football with the Colts. The, the Colts! Oh, oh, now we're going to a steakhouse. What are you doing? Uh, well, we're surrounded by hot guys. We're surrounded by hot guys. Boom! <laughs> oh, Donna just ripped off a stripper's underwear with her teeth. Woo! And who are you lying to? Oh. What? Can I take a break? My hands are tired. Uh-uh. We paid for an hour. You're going to dig for an hour. Gentlemen, welcome to the steakhouse of St. Elmo. Yes. Tonight we eat something's flesh. I want meat! Jerry, are you sure this is our table? There's only four settings. Excuse me, sir, this is not your table. Well, I thought you said the Gergich party. No, no, I said the Gingrich party. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Damn it, Jerry. But you know what? Gingrich, Gergich? I wonder if we're related. I don't think so, Jerry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one rare porterhouse, one rare sirloin, and a rasher of bacon. Oh. That's the Lord's work you're doing, John. I'd like four more glasses of Lagavulin in liquid form. That's not something you really need to specify. You'd be surprised. So, bachelor boy, how's it going with Diane? Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be very candid with you all. I like her. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> There are so many things that I could say about Ron, but I think that the best man's speech should represent the groom. So I will just say, to Ron. Oh, to Ron! To Ron. To Ron. <laughs> just perfect, perfect, Chris. Here you are, sir. And I thought you might also like to know that your meal has already been taken care of by Mr. Hibbert. What? Oh! 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 What's up, Jello Shot? Hey, man. Sure. Roy Hibbert, Entertainment 720 reunion. Hey, Tom. I am not paying for that guy. He owes me a lot of money. It's true. 